everyone. Ten students are sitting in a circle. Each has each of these students has the property that the age that their age is the average of two ages of the immediate neighbors. John is sitting in the circle, and he's fifteen. How old is Amy? Also sitting in the circle? Think about it. Okay. John is 15. Let's say the person sitting next to him has a bigger age, 17. The person next in that circle has to have a bigger age. Over 17 to be about average with something smaller than it, and that has to be bigger than it. And then we, the next person has to have an increasing age, increasing age, increasing age, increasing age. Somehow, a series of increasing ages has has to go back to 15 again. So, that, so this person can't be older. By the same reasoning, they can't be younger. Because a decreasing series of ages cannot go back to being 15. The only way out of this is that Amy is 15 and everyone sitting in the circle is 15. There's also an algebraic way you could have worked this out. So let's say the person sitting next to 15 has ages 15 plus x, where x is a positive, x should be positive, negative, or zero. The person after 15 plus x is 15 plus 2x, then 15 plus 3x, 15 plus 4x, going all the way around. The person 15 should be 15 plus 10x. But 15, but the only way 15 can equal 15 plus 10x is if x is zero and everyone is the same age. Interesting to note that it does not depend on AB's position in the circle. And some of you might have figured out if 15 is the only age mentioned, each age is going to be 15. Bye.